Bodhi, just uh, give us your assessment of kind of the 90 minutes in Montreal and you've been kind of a Swiss Army knife going from right wing to right back and now a few games at center back, got the clean sheet. Just, uh, you know, what's your feeling of, of that defensive performance? Uh, I thought it was solid. I mean, I felt like we controlled most of the game and I think there's just a few key parts we need to get better in in the attacking half and it was just one of those games where we couldn't find the back of the net but I thought defensively it was solid and we deserved more than one point. Is it uh, a sign of respect that we go on the road and the home team puts 11 behind the ball for 90 minutes? Uh, I mean I guess you could say a little bit of respect but I think it's more just how we play. I don't think they really have a choice. Um, obviously you came up through the academy with Jay Glad, with Brody, uh, with others on the team. I think we've got 15 homegrowns right now, but I guess talk about a little bit of that chemistry between you and Brody, how long you guys have been playing with each other at a million different levels. Uh, yeah, so I actually didn't meet Brody until my first year with the Monarchs. That's okay. probably the first year we met because they were older than me in the academy, but I feel like we're all similar. We all get along, good guys, uh, and it's just gone well, so. Jay Glad, have any tips for you playing center back next to Vera? Uh, yeah, maybe a couple. Not too many, <laughs> but Jay Glad's good. Go ahead. Um, what, was, what was the break like for you? And then just to get that start and come out of the break and then get the start, just how did you feel coming out of the break? Did it help? Did, it, did, it, did you have to dial in? Uh, I think the break was good, definitely coming off my hamstring. But okay. um, I don't know, I didn't necessarily take it as a break. I mean, I was still working and... Yeah. I felt like it was good to, I'm glad Pablo trusted me and that I got the start and we went out and got a point, so. Yeah, absolutely. 14 on BN now, Trey, yeah. right? That's crazy to be a part of something like this. How fun is this for you? Uh, it's funny, you know, you don't really realize when you're in the moment that it's history or anything like that. And, you know, I hope we can make it more, but I wouldn't say that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is just getting better every game. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe winning a cup. Um, no, um, what's what's something right now that you like about this RSL team? I mean, you guys are first in the West, but LAFC is right behind you. What what is it that you're doing right? Uh, I think our biggest thing is just everyone has each other's backs. No one no one argues or complains, and we all know everyone's going to make a mistake, and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter who it is or when, just to have each other's back. How about for you? Where have you seen your growth, or something that you look at in your skill set, and you're just like, damn, I got this going for myself. <laughs> uh, I think I struggled to find the field my first couple of years, but um, okay. I like to compliment myself and find yeah. it pretty cool that I can slide in pretty much anywhere, and right. I, so think, I think that's good. Yeah, absolutely, and then going into Wednesday's game on the road and then you're back home Saturday, um, you're probably going to start again. I, I don't know, I don't, but that's really awesome. How are you feeling going into Wednesday's match on the road and then Coming home, what will that do for you and your confidence, if anything? Uh, yeah, I think it'll be good. I think uh, Kansas City will be tough. It's hot there, humid. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we need three there, and then it's an even more important game against Galaxy, who's also close in the standings on Saturday. And there's nothing better than winning at home, so I think yeah. we need to get that done. I have one more. Um, the unbeaten streak and then even just your guys' success. Like, How much of that is talked about around the team, or how much of it is just, hey, it's another day at work? Uh, I mean, it's definitely known. I wouldn't say it's really talked about. I mean, we know what we need to do and yeah. how to do it. So yeah. I guess it's more just expected. Talk about it every day. <laughs> one more for me. Like, uh, do you prefer the three game week, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, a few, a few less training sessions, or, or do you like having a full week between games? Uh, I prefer it congested. I like playing more than practice, but I feel like that's everyone. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, nice. And then uh, just kind of piggybacking on one thing she said, obviously the home record's been really good this year. The fans, especially the last few games, seems like it's just been an electric atmosphere. What does that provide you guys when you're in warm-ups and then uh, during the game as well? Uh, yeah, it's actually funny you say that. When I was on the, the bench against Austin, um, or even the Colorado home game, mm -hmm. we were talking uh, that even my whole life growing up here, going to games, I don't think I've ever heard the stadium be that loud. So, I mean, it definitely helps and we notice and it's a, it's a big confidence booster. Awesome, and then I guess, sorry, I keep saying last question. This team has been really successful on the road the last couple years. Um, how would you kind of characterize that mentality? Because it's very hard to win on the road in this league. For a long time, RSL was great at home and not good on the road, but 
especially under Pablo, we've been almost, uh, you know, to be so frustrated even with a road tie, I think that's a sign of progress, right? Yeah, um, obviously I haven't been in the league too long, but in my own personal opinion, I don't really view it as, it's obviously nice to be home with your home fans and everything, but going away, I don't see it very differently. I mean, it's another game, you're both playing, so. I don't know. I don't really see it that, that differently. Pablo talks about it's just the next 90 minutes. So the streak, or looking ahead, like none of that stuff matters. It's just about the next 90 minutes. Is that kind of the mentality you guys all have? Yeah. Room and that contributes to that. It doesn't matter if we're home or away as long as we do what we do. Exactly. We know that if we do what, what we train and what we practice and we stick to our principles, that more than likely we'll, we'll come out with the results. So.